seven hours is that? been here a long time. Oh. I saw your setup. Ridiculous. You and I will not make garbage. We will produce a chemically pure and stable product that performs as advertised. No adulterants, no baby formula, no chili. No. Yeah! Uh, blue, yellow, pink! Whatever, man, just keep bringing me that. So, previously I installed some linear guide rails on the Z-axis on my printer, and since I had the thing torn apart, I might as well as upgrade the Core XY system. I think it'll be pretty easy. No big deal. Something that I could do very quickly, like in a couple weeks tops. Everything burns. Once I had the printer all opened, there were even more parts that I could see that were failing. This time, the printed mounts that held the stepper motors to the frame of the printer. They were all bent from the horizontal tension of the belts and were too thinly designed. My bad on that one. So I used some ASA filament to produce two new mounts that would hold the stepper motors in place used in the Core XY system. The new mounts are a lot thicker and had a greater gantry support from the plate that the stepper motors mount to. So when in doubt, make them thicker. With the stepper motors in place, I still had to come up with new printed mounts that would hold the linear rails in place. So all the blue parts are going to be required to hold these rails to the frame and also the gears and pulleys of the Core XY system. Now our Core XY system is not what you would call traditional, but rather a vertical having the belts in the same horizontal plane, but one belt above the other. The idea was to save some space. To achieve successful parts, we would be using ASA filament. And I don't know if you're aware of this, but this filament stinks. Like releasing toxic fumes stinks. But how bad could it be? Is it really deadly? I mean, I printed so much ASA filament, the least I should have gotten was a headache or skin irritation or something based on these internet articles. Once the parts actually stuck to the bed, I had to use some magic 3D printing adhesive. My printers were producing parts in no time. So how do we do? Orientation matters for ASA printing and not in that weird pronoun using way. I actually had to redesign the parts so that a larger, flatter surface was used as the first layer. This gave the part a much better quality overall. After all the ASA printing was done, and all that toxic filament fume filled up my house like a giant meth lab, we were ready to begin assembling all the printed parts back onto the printer. There were two sets of pulley mounts that were printed and these mounts would hold the gears in place. Now these gears are used for the belts of the Core XY system. And this design we had to simplify due to the fact that the design was just too complicated. When was I ever going to learn? As shown in the last video, we had a layer that needed to be printed upon supports. And every time that this layer was printed, it warped because the ASA did not have enough time to cool and lay down the next layer properly. So this mount would not hold the linear rails and instead would only house the gears used for the timing belts.
For the linear rails to be mounted, we had to print four additional mounts from our ASA filament that would bolt directly to the frame of the printer. The linear rails would then bolt to these 3D printed mounts and the install was pretty smooth. These rails have a great recessed hole that hides the bolt and works perfectly with an M3 bolt. Now I have used optical limit switches before and wanted to use them again on this redesign. This would be needed on the Y axis, however I had forgot to recess a slot for the solders on the bottom of the board. I did stack two washers for now but this would most likely have to be corrected. I did correct this on the left carriage rail mount which would also have an optical limit switch for the x-axis so stay tuned with the y-axis rails in position everything had been completed for this axis so i went ahead and put the frame back together installing the top extrusion back in place And over tightening all the M3 screws till my fat fingers hurt. And did have the opportunity to install two top ASA L shaped frame brackets because why would I buy them when I'm already 3D printing the ASA filament? We're cutting corners, we'll say it. Now I moved to the assembling of the x-axis, which based on the success of the y-axis, I thought would go just as smoothly. The two main 3D printed parts are the left and right mount carriages. The right would have another optical limit switch mounted to it and would prevent the extruder from running past the men. The mounts would have the X-rails bolt up to the holes of the carriage, but to my surprise, the model did not align with the rails, and I couldn't mount them. Let me show you something. Does that look right to you? It wasn't right. This is why you need to double check a model you just get off the internet because you're too lazy to design a linear rail yourself. That's on me. I went ahead and moved the location of the hole on both of the carriages and reprinted them. This time the parts worked correctly and the rail lined up with their mounting hole which allowed me to insert a bolt. Now that all the rails were in place, 
the final component of the Core XY system, which is the extruder. He looks structurally unsound. And my first idea for the carriage did not end up correctly due to poor quality. So I had to redesign it where it sat flatter on the print bed and the quality came out way better. The carriage would mount to the rail block of the linear rails and I would have a separate clip that the actual extruder would mount to and that clip that held the extruder would then bolt to the carriage print leaving me some room in between the two parts for the belt. Now the belts are a very important part of any Core XY system and you want to retain all of the tension in these belts so there's not going to be any slipping or moving of the belts along the gears or the pulleys as your extruder moves because this could lead to very bad print quality such as layer shifting and the incorrect dimensions being printed so we want to avoid all that. When I was installing the belts there weren't any clearance issues with the 3D printed part, I made sure I gave myself plenty of room for the belts to be pushed through these parts and reach the extruder where they would be mounted together onto the belt clip. Now this belt clip is where all of my belts will converge and be held in place against the extruder mount. The extruder I'm using on this redesign is the Big Tree Tex 3-in-1 out. I like it for this build because I'm very limited on the amount of space I have on the x-axis and this extruder is small and the all-metal design is really solid. Plus it bolts right to my printed clip and that would then bolt to the carriage. I know, so many bolts. The final extruder mount came out really well, so I did something right on this. The basic motion of Core XY is when both of the motors turn in the same direction, the extruder will move along the X direction. But when one motor is held in place while the other rotates, the extruder will move in a diagonal line. I can't test the motors yet because I still have to add the optical limit switches on this printer. Remember, I still need to add one on the Z axis and fix the Y axis. But when I tested the motion of the Core XY, the belts were not as tight as I had hoped for. There's going to be a redesign of a redesign, isn't there? I think I can fix this by reprinting a belt clip which the belt can in turn tie to. Next time we're going to go ahead and play with some optical limit switches and get them installed on this printer and let's get this thing moving so stay tuned for that. Also we'll be getting into the electronics, the heart of this printer so come back for that. And we're going to inch one step closer to getting our Vinci test print out on Imprint X. Thank you all for watching this video. If you like it and enjoy what I do here, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. Hit that notification bell and check out the links which are listed in the description of this video. I hope your 3D printing turns out awesome and I'll see you all in the next video.